Aloha, and welcome to Three Minute Astronomy, a look at the vast worlds beyond our Earth. I'm Steve McGahey, your NASA Solar System Ambassador. Today we're going to talk about sunspots on our sun. The sun is a huge sphere of ionized gas. It has six regions, the core, the radiative zone, the convective zone, the visible surface known as the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the outermost region, the corona. It has no solid surface. The sun's photosphere is a 300 mile thick region from which most of the sun's radiation escapes outward and is detected as the sunlight we observe here on Earth. Today, we're honored to have as a special guest from the Institute for Astronomy right here on Maui, Dr. J.D. Armstrong, the scientist guy. J.D., what have we learned about sunspots and how they can affect us here on Earth? Well, sunspots are where strong magnetic fields poke through the photosphere. The strong magnetic fields inhibit convection which is how energy reaches the solar surface. Since the energy transport is inhibited, the surface cools, becoming darker. The darker region is what we call sunspots. Mm -hmm. Sunspots are still very hot. The temperature of sunspots is typically 3,800 degrees Kelvin, which is about 6,400 degrees Fahrenheit. While this is pretty hot to us, it is much cooler than the surface of the sun, which is 5,800 degrees Kelvin, or nearly 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The magnetic fields that form sunspots can affect us here on Earth. Magnetic fields at the surface of the sun are the cause of coronal mass ejections. Coronal mass ejections are when plasma is ejected from the sun into space. The plasma can affect satellites in orbit around the Earth and cause widespread power outages. Thank you, Dr. J.D. Armstrong from Maui's Institute for Astronomy. Until we return, you can learn more about our own sun by going to www.nasa.gov sun. This has been Three Minute Astronomy with your NASA Solar System Ambassador Steve McGahee, looking up. Yeah.